everybody, it's Wendy, and today I'm going to do a quick little video on these lucite flower um, pieces that I paint, and I'm just going to show you guys how they're used, because I've had a lot of people um, ask me questions about the sizes of them and about the bead caps I use, so I'm just going to give you a few examples of you know, what I've made with them and how they're used and which bead caps I use when I layer, okay? So here we have, well, let me show you the sizes first. So this is a 22 millimeter, okay? So I hand paint these flowers and um, they are, they end up looking like stained glass. They're very, very pretty when they're finished. Um, and it's one of the kind of the things that I do that is unique to me um, on my website. So here is one, this one's like a blue and red. Um, and I just have a special technique I use when I paint them and I don't really wanna tell everybody because it's kind of my thing. So, um, but this is a 22 millimeter, okay? This is a 27 millimeter flat flower. So if you can see, this one is very pointed. This one is very flat. This is, I believe it's the 40 millimeter, and this is the bigger one used for pendants. And I don't have any here with the pendant piece on it. I wish I did um, to show you a finished one, but um, it's just basically, you know, a bigger size than that one. This is the 14 millimeter, okay? This is the smaller little 14 millimeter guy. And then we have the tulip, the little tulip. So this one is pretty small in comparison with the others. And then we have the tiny. So this is the tiny. <laughs> it is really tiny, but they're very cute. Um, so those are all the different sizes of the flowers that I paint. Um, and I'm going to be actually painting a bunch more here coming up soon because I'm running low. But those are the sizes of the flowers. Now, normally when I make something with these, I use these bead caps right here. All of these things are on my website, okay? Everything I'm going to show you is on my website. So I use these bead caps. These layer really well on the um, 40 millimeter just as a little topper. It, they layer the best, I think, on the 22 millimeter like this. They're very, very pretty on there. And then you can even spread these flat and use them to layer on the flat flower like this. So sometimes I'll do this. I'll layer them like this, or I'll layer them like, whoops, like this, okay? So you can do, there's all different things you can do with them, um, but I do like these a lot. These are just called petal bead caps, and they're on my website. I have them in this bright silver, gold, and antique bronze, I think, and rose gold. Yeah. Okay, and then I use these a lot, too. Now, these are the alloy flower bead caps, and again, they can go on the top of these. They can even go on the top of this 14 millimeter one here. Or they can spread out and go underneath, and they look really pretty underneath too, and I'm going to show you some examples here in a minute. So that is the Alloy Flower Bead Cap, and it's on my website in several different colors. I've got it in the silver, the gold, I think red copper, possibly antique bronze, I can't remember, but it's on there in a lot of different colors too. And then I have these um, dotted flower bead caps. Whoops. Okay, that's these. And these I use a lot, too, because they layer really well. So they hang underneath these really pretty on a jump ring or an eye pin. They go underneath the tulips even pretty. And they even can layer with these little tiny ones. So um, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. I just layer things. I just play with it. And I'll show you a bunch of examples here in a second. So this is the five-petal bead cap, and I've got it. On my website in several different colors and again I layer these a lot of times I will lay this one facing down and of course I can't do it to get it to balance and then another one just like it facing up this way and I'll show you here in a minute and then this is the four petal bead cap and I have it on my website as well in several different colors so these are the main things that I use when I'm making the flowers um, for earrings or for pendants. And I'm going to, here, I will show you all of these. So first off, 
here's a necklace that I've made. Okay, so if you look in here, this is the dotted bead cap. That's this one. This little silver one. It's layered underneath the 14 millimeter, which is right here which is layered underneath another bead cap that is not on my website. This guy's not, but this one could be, it's another version of this, okay? So this flat, flowery one here is another version of this alloy bead cap. So it's layered underneath the 22 millimeter. <laughs> so they're just, it's a bunch of layering with this. That's what makes these so unique. Then this one, right here, then the five petal facing down, and then another five petal facing up, and then a bicone, okay? So that's how I've done this one. Then I hung things from the bottom. These turn out so pretty, and they're just very different. You don't see them anywhere, you know, so that's kind of what makes them fun. So then I did the matching earrings for this set, and if you're interested in any of these pieces, um, they are all for sale. I haven't had a chance to get everything up on my website yet. I mean, I've got pictures of like 300 pieces of jewelry I need to upload. So if you're interested in any of these things, just email me and I'll <laughs> I'll uh, let you know the price on them and stuff like that. Because they're they need to be up on the website, but they're not. That's just the problem of it all. <laughs> okay, so here's the earrings that whoops that go with that set. They do not want to stay on my hand. So this is the 14 millimeter. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. That's this one. It's layered again with this other one that's not on my website, but this one is very similar to this. So if you bought this, you're getting basically the same thing. This one's just a little more pointy. And then two of the little tiny five petal bead caps again, one facing down, one facing up. That's these. So that's how I did this flower with the dangles. Okay, so that's a matching set there, necklace and earrings. Okay, so then here's another way to use them. Check this one out. This is the flat flower. Now these hang like this. They're really pretty. They hang, you know, just uh, different than the others. But this is the flat flower. That's this guy right here. Okay, and he's just layered. There's a four petal bead cap. That's this one. And a bead. And then some other bead caps that I had in my stash. So I just play around. I mean, I don't, there's no set formula that you have to use. I just play around and layer things and they usually turn out pretty. Um, here again is the 14 millimeter. It's layered with this one on top of it. Let's see, bending back into shape there. Okay, so it's layered with the alloy flower bead cap, which is layered on the 26 the 22 millimeter which has this on top of it and then the two small ones on the top back to back okay so that's this pair very very easy and the key one of the keys is using a head pin and putting some clear seed beads up in there because you want your smaller flowers to hang down below your bigger flower and if you don't put something up in there it won't so you either have to spread out one of these these guys flat or you have to put some seed beads up in there so there are some clear seed beads up in there you just can't see them but they make this hang the bottom flower hang lower so that's how that works okay so there's another pair that we've done here's another one with the rose gold that's the rose gold petal bead cap and again I haven't even layered any bead caps on this one I've just used a tiny little check flower which you could use if you don't have the check flowers you could use the tulip here or the tiny one wherever he went here he is either one of those would work for this flower so and same here okay but I just I just play around I layer things I just see how it looks here again is the dotted that's this bead cap right here layered with the other version of this guy with the 22 millimeter and then this one on top, and then a little four petal bead cap facing up. So that's that one right there. Now this necklace here, I think is spoken for. I think I've got somebody who's already wanting this one. I had to find it, <laughs> but this one I loved. I thought it turned out really pretty. This was a pendant piece from Mossy Cup Oak Designs, 
and I don't know where she has gone and what's happened to her. I haven't been able to get a hold of her. I've texted her, and she's not responded to me, so I don't know, but she did some beautiful pendants, and I used this piece that she sent me in this necklace, and then these are all the 14 millimeter, which is this one, and the 22 millimeters, which are the, these ones. These are all them, just layered with bead caps and more flowers in here. See? It's all just a little bit different, but you just layer them. You just play around with it. Here's one of the 14 millimeters layered. There's the tiny, the tiny guy right here. That's him. So these are all on my website. They are in so many different colors, um, and you can make so many beautiful and unique pieces. Um, they're just, I mean, look at this. Nobody has this. Nobody's wearing these kinds of things. I don't see them anyway. Um, another thing you can do with these is make a fairy. So this is my fairy. These wings are on my website in two different sizes. This is the alloy bead cap. That's this one right here for her hair. Um, we've got our wings. Then this bead cap is not on my website, but again, you could use this. It's basically the same shape. This is the 22 millimeter flower. That's this one layered with a flat flower. This one. So just the, it's basically this right here with one of these flattened out underneath it to make her little skirt and then the 14 millimeter. Okay, and then her little legs. So that's the fairy, and this is a backpack pool or a purse dangle, whatever you want to make her be. Okay, so those are some of the sizes and the shapes. Here's a smaller pair that I did. So this is using a little flat flower. I don't have these on my website, but again, you could use the tiny under there, or you could spread out one of these. The 14 millimeter flower, that's this one layered with this one, the petal bead cap, and then two smaller bead caps back to back on top. And it makes a smaller earring. Okay, so that's how they work. Um, they're really not hard. There is no set formula. It's just you layer what you think looks good and just play around with it and have fun. They really are a lot of fun to make. I enjoy them so much. Um, and they're different, they're unique, and they're very, very pretty. They end up looking like stained glass, I think, when they're finished, so they're just beautiful. But I have them on my website in tons of different colors. Some of them are sold out, but there's still a ton of different colors up there. And like I said, I'm getting ready to, to uh, make a bunch more. So if you guys are interested in those, I will put a link in the description box below to the website. You can check them out. And I just wanted to clarify, you know, kind of the sizes and how they, how they work because I've had a lot of people asking me um, questions. And I know it's been a while since I've done a tutorial using them. So... I thought I would just point out the different sizes, the bead caps that I use when I'm layering with them and kind of how they work. So I hope this is helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.